understanding, and then secondly, memory. This notion really defies traditional media, just podcasts. There are four main things that I think make Craft one of the best new notes app for iOS. These are blocks, styles, design, and sharing and collaboration. But before going into all that, a quick backstory. This summer, I was on the lookout for a good notes app that would allow me to rearrange and move things around more freely. Then it also had to have some basic essential things like syncing across devices, a good app for the iPad, not too complex and all that for not too much money. Then I stumbled upon this Tesla Vision document on this website called Craft. I signed up for the beta and after using it for a while alongside Apple Notes, I switched over and now have used it for every single video you see on this channel and more. It's not perfect, but it does help me to organize and structure my thoughts together. And that's what all this is about, right? Now for all of you on the productivity hype train, it's a block based editor like Notion. So that means every time you press enter and move on to the next line, you create a new block and this block based system has quite a few advantages. You can pick up a block and move it around. You can select multiples of them and precisely place them anywhere. It's done so well here that I don't even think about structure while I'm taking notes. So what I usually do is just dump all my thoughts and then find connections and group them together. And eventually when the page gets too big to scroll, you can combine a set of blocks together to create a new page within the page. It'll show the contents in line and you can tap to go in. It's like creating your own app and it's just as easy to ungroup them by the same icon. So you can start simple and when it gets complicated, quickly and easily break it down. I use this a ton while writing these scripts for these videos and it keeps everything accessible and easier to find. Now another major draw with Craft is how you can make your notes look beautiful without much effort. There's a dedicated style panel where you have your classic text sizing options and a pending control, but also other stuff like bullets and checklists. There are options to visually highlight or separate blocks from the rest of the document. And the block structure again makes it more powerful. You can quickly select multiple blocks and apply edits to them together. You can also use a combination of these to really make it the way you want. You can basically spend seconds on this or get lost. You have cards, which can be customized a bunch of different ways. You can highlight text with a gradient. I don't really go super deep into that, but it's great if you want to publish somewhere on a blog or a newsletter or something. It's that good. I don't know about you, but I really like the presets here and how everything looks. And that's just talking about text. You can insert photos, sketches, PDFs, and they all get integrated nicely with the text. It also handles links brilliantly, and you can even customize the layout. Like if you want your notes to look beautiful, this is it, but it's not only about making your notes look more beautiful. First up, it's a native app that's designed for touch, so it feels fast and fluid. There's great attention to detail with every little animation, making it feel as good as it looks. Like if you appreciate good design, you're gonna love this app. And at the core is how you don't have to learn everything before you get started. You can start typing right away and discover things as you go. Nothing feels out of place or overly complex. It can be as simple as you want with a couple of checklists or as complex with pages and pages. Like it doesn't overwhelm you like Notion. And as it is an iOS first app, it supports almost every Apple feature with dark mode, split view, slide over, multi-window, drag and drop, and more recently, pointer support on iPad and sign in with Apple. And it looks just as good on iPhone and Mac. Seriously, I don't remember the last time I used an app with such great user experience. It's one of the few better designed apps on the App Store. Now, sharing and collaboration is something that I don't really care about because I don't work with a team. But it's good to have your options. Okay, so before going into that, you gotta know that the hierarchy goes like this. You got spaces in which you got documents that can be put into folders. And documents, of course, have pages inside them, as many as you want. You invite others to join a space so they have access to all the documents in that space. So really you have these dedicated spaces for collaboration or different projects. And it works somewhat like Google Docs with live edits and pointers and stuff. And when you want to export your document, you've got a bunch of options. You can share a link with someone so they can view and leave comments in a browser without any logins. You can export a PDF or a markdown with built-in support for popular apps 
including Notion. So you can integrate it with other tools if you want to. And that's it. That's why I use Craft to take notes on my iPad. It's a free download on the App Store and you can use up to a thousand blocks before you need a subscription. It's $5 a month, which seems kind of high, but it's not uncommon for writing apps. But everything you just saw is included in the free plan. And if you aren't into Apple, there's no Windows or Web Editor right now, but it is in development. And yet the app does get updated quite frequently. Let me know what you use for your notes in the comments. Like this video if you loved it and subscribe to see more of them. And I'll see you then.